What's up guys? I got to the boat today and we started washing it and I honestly thought I just ruined a 1.5 million dollar boat. <laughs> uh, it's been a little stressful morning, but we figured out the problem and we figured out what to do and I want a video for you guys because I have seen this on other boats and I've done it on other boats, but on this particular boat, it freaked me the heck out. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to fix those little bitty rust stain marks that are all in your non-skid and on the boat. When we got to this boat today, we started washing it and I look on the non-skid and I'm like, oh my God, there is rust everywhere on this boat. Um, all over the non-skid, there's little bitty rust speckles all inside the non-skid on the cockpit. I was freaking out because none of the products I use would do that. But how do you tell a customer, hey, when we started working on your boat, there was no rust. And now since we've been working on your boat, there's rust everywhere. <laughs> That's not a good conversation to have when you have a brand new $1.5 million boat and the customer has yet to actually go and have fun on it. So, we've identified the problem. Let's go ahead and figure out how to fix it. If you get any value out of this video, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification so every time I make a video, it'll pop up. Also, all of the products that I use in this video will be in the description down below. So if you click those links and purchase those products, I appreciate you guys for that. All right, so part of the problem is I thought there's construction here and there was somebody working on the boat yesterday on some electronics. So instantly I went to, dude, somebody was doing some metal work on this boat. So I ended up calling the customer. I was like, look, man, when we got to your boat today, there was rust everywhere on the non-skid and he was like what what are you talking about and i was like dude everywhere on the non-skid there's rust and i'm gonna show you guys here in just a second what i'm talking about and um you know we we kind of went back and forth on what it could be come to find out the boat did spend some time at a shipyard here in town um and the customer did say hey those rust marks were all actually there beforehand but i had gotten them off and i was like well they're back and it brought up a good point, and this is why I wanna make this video, is a lot of people will remove these with like on, off, or an acid, but they don't actually remove them fully. So a week or two later, or whenever you wash your boat next, like we did yesterday, we rinsed it off, and it got all the rust marks came right back. And I wanna show you guys how to fully remove them properly so they will not come back anymore. So let's go ahead and check out the rust marks. All right, guys, so let's check out what I'm talking about. All right, we're in here in the cockpit, and like I said, today we went to go cleaning the boat that we're prepping for our ceramic job and all we saw were all of these little bitty rust specks all inside the gel coat look at that everywhere they're literally everywhere check this out all in the gel coat it's crazy and i mean i don't know if you can see this on camera but they're literally everywhere on the boat so naturally with this being a brand new boat, I freaked the heck out. <laughs> but luckily, we have found uh, the cause and what actually caused all of these rust marks. Dan is back here actually already working on it. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to go over the tutorial. I'm going to slap on the GoPro so you guys can get a first-hand experience of what to do if you have these little rust marks everywhere. One, how to clean them, and two, how to fully remove them so they do not come back again. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and wash the surface. So I'm gonna rinse it off real good. We're gonna do this section right here. Hopefully you can see all of those rust marks. They're crazy bad in the non-skid. And we're also gonna go over what to do on this smooth section too. So let's go ahead and rinse it off. All right, just get a nice clear working space. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some Stark Venom water spot remover. This will take off the metal stain, but we're also gonna have to use the scrub brush to be able to get inside of the grain to be able to actually remove the metal shave. So what this actually is, guys, it is little specks of metal that's stuck into the gel coat. So the problem is, and this is what the customer did a couple days ago when he washed the boat because these spots were not here when I started washing this boat. Problem is, is he cleaned it with some on-off, I think he used, which you can use as well. If we just use the, the Venom uh, remover, it's gonna remove the rust stain, but it's not actually going to remove the little metal shard that's stuck in there. So it may look super clean, but then the next time you wash it and it gets wet, it's gonna rust again and it's gonna recreate these spots. So all of these spots were technically here. I did not do this. I thought I did it, but I didn't. So 
what we need to do guys is actually remove the rust stain and the actual little piece of metal that's stuck in and that's where the brush is going to come into play and i'm going to show you guys everything to look for here in just a second so first thing we're going to do is remove the rust stain from the non-skid all right guys so first thing i like to do is get you a little terry cloth do not use a colored uh rag because it can stain the gel coat with the acid so go ahead put a nice little bit and we're just going to do circle motions just enough to kind of rub it in now instantly you're going to see those rust marks starting to fade and that's normal, okay? All right, so we already have a much cleaner surface. You can see the rust marks here and then pretty much no rust marks here. Now, what we wanna look for is, I'm hoping we can see this on camera, these little black specks, all right? From far up, you can't really see them, but when you get close, that is actually those little shards of metal that we have to remove. So there's no rust stains around here, but we have to remove these little shards of metal. So let's go ahead and do that. So next thing I like to do is take a little more acid because that's gonna help kind of lube up the metal. Do a circle, and then we're gonna take just a basic old hard bristle scrub brush, and we're gonna do light circle motions. All right, and then wipe your surface clean. All right, and as you can see, as you can see, there's still a few little ones in there and we gotta get those out. Damn, dude, these jokers are in there. That is perfectly done. Um, this little section right here, if we can see it, this little section, there's no more spots at all. Now, once we have the rust removed with the brush and the acid, you just scrubbed in acid on his non-skid. So you always want to re-protect it after. In this case, we are ceramic coating this boat. Um, in the next video to follow, I would definitely put some type of wax or sealant down after you do this process throughout the whole boat because it is going to eat away at the gel coat on the non-skid because this is an acid-based product. Um, so do not leave the surface unprotected afterwards. But as you can see, we got all of those little spots out perfect. All right, guys, so the next thing on the list is getting this smooth strip right here. You do not want to use this brush on the strip because it will scratch it. So all I have here is just an older used clay bar that I had. You can go to like AutoZone or get one online if you want a, just a decent clay bar. So we're going to basically repeat the steps, but just use the clay bar instead of the brush. Go ahead, get your venom on the rag, wipe the surface. As you can see, that already removed the rust off of there. Now we have these little bitty black specks. Just use our clay bar, and that's gonna get all those specks right out. Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna do this whole big section so you guys can kind of see what a whole big section would look like versus just a small little, you know, obviously a small little section. So we just did our big section. As you can see, all of the rust marks are gone. Um, there's one speck right here. But it doesn't take a lot of time. Well, I take that back. It does take a, a decent amount of time. <laughs> but, um, you know, when it's this bad, it's all over the place. So charge accordingly. For something like this, um, when you have to, it's obviously not a custom pricing. Charge about a hundred bucks an hour for stuff like this, okay? So, cause you don't realize how, you don't really know how long it's gonna take you to get all this stuff out. So between me and Dan, um, you know, we'll probably get this done in about an hour, you know, so about a hundred extra bucks, maybe an hour and a half, 150 extra bucks. Um, but 
like I said, you have to take your time and get all of those rust marks out. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is how you remove those little annoying little rust marks. If it's on smooth gel coat, you can use Venom Water Spot Remover by Stark. If you don't have that on hand and you are in a bind, go to West Marine and get uh, on and off. On and off is good. It is a heck of a lot stronger though. So be careful, that is a extremely strong acid, okay? But if you're on a pinch and you need something today because you ran into a problem like I did, luckily I did have Stark Venom on hand. So I, you know, I, 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 I would just say guys, Stark Venom is great for removing water spots, moving water scum lines at the bottom of your boats if you have nasty orange scum lines. Um, and then obviously, we just figured out today that it will remove rust with no problem. So, non-skid, use a brush to remove not just the rust stain, but also the little speck of metal. A lot of people, like I said, will just remove the rust stain and not actually get the little shard of metal. So it's just gonna keep coming back time, 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 and time again. So. Luckily, I did not ruin this $1.5 million boat. <laughs> Someone else did, and now we're here to fix it. So, guys, if you got any value out of this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell notification, so every time I make a video, it will pop up. And until then, let's get back to washing this boat and ceramic coat this thing already. Look forward for that video coming up here soon. Let's go.